There are two types of reactions called reactions which undergo color changes and reactions which produce precipitates. If any color change occurs in a chemical reaction, such reactions are called reactions which undergo color changes. Now let's consider the reaction between iron and potassium ferricyanide. First, put some iron fibers into a potassium pericyanide solution which is of yellowish green color. When the solution is mixed well, it can be seen that the color of that solution changes. The initial color has changed and now it is in blue color. Thus, it is a reaction which undergoes a color change. Now, let's consider the reaction between a potassium dichromate solution and sodium hydroxide solution. First, add sodium hydroxide solution to the orange-colored potassium dichromate solution. The color of the solution turns yellow. Thus, the reaction between potassium dichromate solution and sodium hydroxide solution is a reaction which undergoes a color change. The reactions which form precipitates are known as reactions which produce precipitates. Now, let's consider the reaction between a calcium chloride solution and sodium carbonate solution. Add calcium chloride solution to sodium carbonate solution. We can observe the formations of a white color precipitate. It is calcium carbonate. Thus, the reaction between calcium chloride solution and sodium carbonate solution is a reaction which produces precipitate. Now, let's consider the reaction between ferric chloride solution and sodium hydroxide solution. Add sodium hydroxide solution to the yellow-colored ferric chloride solution. We can observe the formations of brown-colored precipitate. Ferric hydroxide precipitate is obtained here. Thus, the reaction between ferric chloride solution and sodium hydroxide solution is a reaction which produces precipitate.